hi there so today i'm going to be showing you how i made this pretty gorgeous hat oh, i think it's fit for a queen what do you think do let me know in the comment section below now i would not be showing you how it was molded because we already have a video how that was done and i will drop that in the description so we'll start from making it so before we get into that there is a vital point that i'm going to take i'm going to mention as you watch this video so please do watch the video till the very end i would like to say a big thank you to all our subscribers and for those just joining us you are most welcome to the ventcraft channel we hope to say thank you in our next video because we are sure you would click that subscribe button and everyone please do ensure you like comment and share this video now that's the base which I've already notched. You can even check the green hat that was made previously. There I showed you how to notch. But I'll still drop all the videos in the description below so you'll be able to get to this point no matter what. There are plenty of videos that start from the beginning to get to this point. This is made with princess mat. So what I'm doing now is I'm using my uhu gum and putting on all the notch parts. Now there's, a th there's something I need to tell you concerning this which is something I just discovered. Now sometimes some people's heads are larger than others and so you need to take notes and the crown you expand it yourself a bit with your hand you take it inside and push it out expand it a bit before you put it together like you see me do before you draw even the line that will enable you to start doing the notion now what that does is it's going to open up the crown a bit so that no matter the head side it would enter then also another thing that i do also is the other one i just discovered but this other one i do sometimes not always but this client asked me to do that and that's to sew an elastic band inside to the heart now what it does is assuming the heart also it's a little bit smaller than the head of the person at least once the person not smaller and um, bigger once the person puts it on the knit the head at the back it would hold the heart in place okay so i hope you gathered um, knowledge from this few points that i've just laid now let's keep watching and learning Now, after I've sewn the um, crown to the base, the next thing I'm going to do is take my velvet trimmings. Now, you can use your pita sham here, but um, I decided to give the heart a touch of queenly look, you know, do something that, you know, would stand the heart out. So, I'm making use of this velvet trimming. Or would you call it velvet pita sham? Or would you call it velvet ribbon? I don't know. I asked you guys in the last video that i made the green hats that i put up last week and nobody responded you guys, you guys want to make me cry please do respond what do you call the streaming or what do you call this velvet stuff all right so i'm going to be doing it all the way around keep watching and learning Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to cover the inside of our heart with Peter Sham. Now that covers both the sewing and also to me it protects the heart from that. Now I've seen some people use white um, um, Peter Sham inside and to my own opinion, I believe black is the best. That's if the color won't show on the other side of the heart. If it's going to be hidden, then black to me is preferable because what does it do? It's take hides the dirt of the heart it won't get so dirty from inside can imagine if you use white and you wear you know we women and um, brown powder can imagine it getting so dirty like that but do let me know your own opinion concerning the color of peter sham that you put in the inside of your heart let me know what you have used so far i've been using only black i've not used any other color so then the next thing we're going to do 
once that is done I'm doing it all the way around did you see me dancing <laughs> okay now so i made use of this peter sham, um, peter sham pieces that was left from the hat remember it's two yards that i used and this was what was left off so i'm just made a triangle with it and i'm cutting it off so i'm going to use this is a perfect square from what you can see and i'm I fold it diagonally and fold it again to form a triangle as you can see and i'm going to sew it from one tip to the other end now i'm making a leaf like stuff with the peter sham if you have made such before do let me know in the comment section below if you haven't do give me a thumbs up for the new creative knowledge i have given you i'm dancing this music in the background okay so when you do you just drag it and squeeze it and you take your thread and go all the way around like so ensure you sew it firmly so that you don't get it loosening and changing shape you want it to remain like a leaf and that's and looking so lovely like this can you see wow do you love it another thumbs up okay so after that is done what you need to do this one is a smaller one that i made you cut off the edge like so the pieces and then i'm going to use the velvet trimming and i'm going to cut a little piece to cover it now if you want depending on the size of square that you cut out it will depend on the size of the leaf you have the bigger the bigger the leaf the smaller the smaller the leaf do you understand okay so the next thing i'm going to do is put my uhu gum on the um velvet trimming and you're going to watch and see how i place it to cover up that rough edges because it's going to be showing on my heart so i want it looking nice do you understand but you know you can also use this to make a lovely rose do you know that okay but i didn't do that because i already have a flower piece that i already purchased and the pieces remaining from the peter sham was two yards from the princess mat that i bought was two yards and there's not enough to go around and also do the other decor that i needed to do so this was actually something i was creating on the go when i purchased the materials i really didn't know really the design i was going to do yet i just purchased now i have cut this um sham to this two inches and six inches okay so sorry not peter sham this is your stiff crinoline two inches width and six inches i actually did different sizes so right now what i'm doing is i'm tying up the tips i'm sure you've already you've watched before how to make a leaf crinoline or those who have joined the crinoline masters class i'm sure this is just a breeze for you because you already know how to make crinoline leaves now if you haven't attended crinoline masters class you really do need to attend and that class is updated as once i get a creative idea i know a different way on how to use um crinoline it is updated there everything concerning crinoline is there you get to know from the basis of crinoline what a crinoline is the different types that we have when you see a picture of a crinoline fascinator how to know what type of crinoline was used for it and all that you really don't want to miss that class and what you need to do is just check in the description of this video you would see the event craft academy go in there and make a request for crinoline masters class okay so now i have um already tied both ends like so and I'm not going to just leave it like that because one part will be facing up. Some people do use um, glue. They glue the edges and some bone. But so far, I've only done the sewing method. You know me and sewing. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is use bias. And I'm going to be covering up the, the edge. Just one edge since the other edge is going to be sewn to the hat. It's going to be sewn to the hat yes i'm going to use it to form a rose now you can also decide to use um reborn small trimmings whatever it is something that would make your work look lovely and stand out that's why we're in the creative world you don't have to use exactly what i used just let your creative juices run through and my sisters you're going to make something lovely is there any brother in the mist if there's a brother in the mist please do give me a shout out in the comment section below so these are all the ones that i have um made already and i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to make a lovely rose from it so you know you i'm sure you were wondering ah, why did i leave it like that it was 
if I start putting it, it will mess up everywhere. So you have to wait for it to dry up a little and then you wrap it up and ensure that you use your hand and press the tip so that it closes up complete. Okay, so this is the hat looking lovely. I just showed you. Now we're back to this. Now the part that you did not glue um, your bias on or your trimming is the part you're going to use to sew this rose that I'm going to do. So I'm just going to keep quiet, allow you to enjoy the cool music in the background and see how I made the lovely rose that I put on this gorgeous hat. Did I ask you if, if this hat was fit for a queen? To let me know later on in the comment section below if you think this hat is fit for a queen. Now I would be dropping the links of um, all the items that we used in making this Marco Fascinator in the description of this video. So if you can't get it in your local store, you would have Amazon links, AliExpress links. Also YouTube has given us a choice to be tagging the items on the video. I would also search for that and see how I can tag to make it easy for you to get all the products if you cannot find it in your local store. Now it's time to sew it to the heart like so. Now I'm um, making use of a blue thread because of course the heart is blue. But you can also make use of a fishing line here also. Okay, so I'm gonna allow you to see how I sew it. Remember in the part, the inside, I'm going to be taking it close to the thread so it's not visible there. Since the top part, I'm going to be using a flower, I'm going to be sewing a flower to it that I can give a big gap. And I'm going to sew all the way around the down part so that the crinoline leaf rose holds firmly on the hat. Keep watching and learning. And now it's time to sew this little rose that I bought to sew it to the middle point like this. Now you can see I'm taking it from the back like so. And when you're sewing from the top part, what's going to happen is that you need to open the pieces of the petals and get the needle underneath so that the thread is not seen. And the same thing as when you are sewing the rose, when you take this into the heart underneath you're going to take the thread close also to 
the thread that just came out so keep watching and learning Okay, so now I'm going to be placing those leaf like things that I made in different positions. So now I'm just testing to see the positions that I would place them on. So I was just doing that's what you do when you're making um, a heart or a fascinator, whatever you're making, you first of all place those things and see, okay, would you like it this way? Okay, would you like it this way? So I did all those placements and the rest, and finally found out how I would like it. Then I finally started sewing it. Now, this time around, I didn't make use of blue thread because it's going to be showing a bit up. So, what I did was that I made use of fishing line to sew it. So, I'm going to keep quiet now and allow you to watch how it was done. Keep watching and learning. Okay, so we are done with that. Yes, yeah, coming up. So the next thing I did was to take this little feathers and I just used my glue to stick them all over in some places close to the crown of the hat. Okay, if you've been to the Vencraft Academy, you already know, depending on the class you watched anyway, if you watched, I think it's Fascinator Class 3, you know the trick of cleaning up all gum stains. So that's making use of the nail dissolver. So I'm going to use that to clean up all the gum stains and make my heart look outstandingly beautiful. Oh, what do you think? Is it coming to shape? I actually thought I had finished when I saw this, but when I placed it on the mannequin head, mm, I didn't like how it was just standing up like that, Jesus. Okay, <laughs> so what I did was to um, start holding up some of those um, leaf-like um, crinoline rolls. I said, that's what I'm doing now with the fishing line. I'm holding it direct to the heart, not so that it doesn't stand up like that. But if you like it like this, I guess you can stop it this way or you can do it the one way this way if you're making a hat another way the other way so i'm going to be showing you how i sewed some parts of them to the hat so that it's um, lapping on the <coughs> excuse me it's lapping on the hat itself and not um standing up like it was okay so you just keep on sewing all the way around and checking your design and seeing the way you want it to appear you might not want to sew it all the way like i did as in to sew the particular ones that i sewed depending on the design you want it's your choice and that's how this lovely hat came about what do you think if you love it do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel my darling click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos and check out this green heart that i made